the rumors been going around the last couple of days, mainly on social media, especially YouTube and some Twitter about, or excuse me, X. Stupid, but anyway. Yeah, X. <laughs> this is so stupid, but anyway, about Florida State and possibly Clemson paying $300 million extra fee over a span of 10 years, cutting a deal with the ACC. And think, and this one guy, Greg Swain, that same Greg Swain, said that it's going to be a done deal. It's going to be announced tonight. <laughs> well, let's see. It's 8.47 p.m. It's long at the business hours out on the East Coast. Suffice to say, that shit ain't happen. But anyway, so it just amazes me that people still – do not understand what a Grenner Rice is. They don't understand it. Because if this is, first of all, two, a few things. If it was that simple, don't you think it would have been done a long time ago? Right? Yeah, pretty much. They would have been done <laughs> a long time ago. And also, they all they had to do is to look at what happened with Texas and Oklahoma in the Big 12. They did not move for a couple more years for a reason. Because it was too expensive to get out, even though they only had three more years left of the deal. And when they negotiated a year earlier, they had to pay, what, $80, $90 million per school? With one year left. <laughs> With one year left. So how in the hell is Florida, is Florida State going to leave with well, it's 2023 right now with 13 more years left on the deal? How? Make it make sense. It's math. It's you, you simple. Have, you math. haven't been on a. You hadn't been on Twitter and and seen it explained away <laughs> by, by um. You know the contracts are made be broken type thing. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, I mean. Yeah. Go 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 ahead, man. Because I'm about to cuss somebody up. But but go ahead. <laughs> I, I I don't. You know I feel like there is a possibility that someone could challenge it before the end of you know, you know before 2036. Sure. But course. no one is gonna go out there and try to put that in court with 13 years, more than a decade. I mean, maybe when you get a little closer to 2030, I might feel like, okay, someone may challenge it if things are still going, you know, sideways. But right now yeah. it's just, it's just a, like absurd. I mean, no one is going to risk that because the consequences of, of losing, which are pretty high, um, uh, you know, would really cripple. And this loan thing, you know, I can't speak on, on Florida State, but I, I'm a I'm a Clemson alum, you know, went yeah. to Georgia Tech alum too. And if either one of them, and we're talking about Clemson, if either one of those pulled like a financial stunt like that, I mean, I would be writing the president saying, what in the heck are you doing risking nearly half a billion dollars to get out of a... um a conference and put yourself at that kind of risk and risk yourself athletically. You're still, if you go to another conference, big 10 or sec, you're already the, the gap that you were worried about. You just inherited it, um, you know, by risking that, by moving. I mean, it's just, it's completely insane. I would, I would really be upset if, if I saw a stunt like that from, from Clemson, I, I you know, I don't think anyone's going to, gonna try it uh right now there's it's just too it's just too much risk involved right and also the other the other component of the grand bars that these twitter experts do not understand is that that means that if you sign a grant of rights that means that your broadcast rights belong to the conference as long as that contract is is, is around which means that Okay, Greg Swam and other experts. If Florida State does leave, their rights will be owned by the conference, even if they pay that money. The rights will be owned by the conference for the next 13 years, which means no one, not only would they not get paid, but no one's going to see them on TV, whether they play at home or away. Yeah, I mean, if I'm I'm the the ACC and the other schools, I mean, I'm not going to uh, agree to to such a thing. And and what's funny about it to me is. You know, when you talk about the, the Pac-12, everyone's like, oh, they get the deal done, they get the grant of rights, they'll be stable for a few years. Or the Big 12, well, they got the grant of rights, they're safe, but but somehow the ACC's 
is like some kind of paper mache grant of rights that teams are going to get out of that 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 I do not understand you know how if you sign one in another conference you're going to be stable but if you sign one in the ACC theirs is going to get broken really yeah. you know it's going to get broken I mean like I said I I don't think it's impossible to think someone could challenge it at some point but I would focus more on towards the end of the decade than anything in the next three, four, five years. I I think to your point, like you know, we're sharing a brand on that some obviously. The earliest, if I'm Jim Phillips, if I, if I sit on my behind and do nothing for the next how many years, if if I'm if it's five years away from like 2030, that's when I'd be worried as an ACC fan. If Jim Phillips does nothing. Yeah, totally, totally agree with that i mean if, if nothing happens yeah. in five years if he doesn't produce anything then i look at it like you can't blame you know they they keep blaming john swafford for the bad deal and and yeah it's it is a bad deal no one argues that but if you're five years from now and he hasn't been able to do anything i mean you, you can't you can't look at your predecessor at that point yeah. uh, you know you you you've you've had years to work on something work with espn it, it becomes your responsibility right. now I mean, you you know how it is at work when someone replaces somebody or takes mm -hmm. over. You you get six months to a maybe a year to to blame the predecessor. Uh, <laughs> and here we're going to give Phillips about three or four or five. So if nothing's come together at that point, I'm going to blame him for for what happens to the ACC if nothing happens. Not not you you only can blame Swafford for what he inherited. Made it kind of tough at the beginning, but. By 2028 or so, that it's on him. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. As long as he doesn't make any uh, non -ha handshake alliances where he looks people in the yeah. eye, as long as he doesn't do that crap anymore, it should be all right. Last yeah, that thing, was man, a mistake. <laughs> yeah, that was that. I, I still am embarrassed by a grown man getting duped like that. Yeah, his, his, he wants to stab him in the back, but his Pratt 12 counterpart did. You get to probably later, but not his still, best moment, that's for sure. That was just that was a clown show right there. Uh, last thing, man, 